Good morning. Hey. We just finished <coughs> the Deb and Will show. That's not what it's called. <laughs> Real talk with Deb and Will. Yeah, because you won't find because you you look for it and you won't find it, and you'll go, I couldn't find it. And they'll talk to you, and they'll email you, and they'll yes. Facebook you, and then you'll go. I, Real talk with Deb and Will. Will. Yeah, we talked about millennials, your kids, <coughs> and your part in making them frustrating for you. How it's your fault? Yay! It's our fault that we raise <coughs> these children, these millennial kids, that think they are their butts a cream puff, and everybody wants to bite it. Cause we told them that they are the future. Yes. Teach them well and let them lead the way. <laughs> Check out our video. <laughs> Love you guys. It'll be fun. You'll like it. You'll Bye. like it. Try it. You'll like it. Hello, everyone. This is a Saturday, Debbie. And... We're doing some house chores. And my hubby, believe it or not, loves our mop. So ladies, get yourself a old cedar mop. I'm gonna show it to you in just a minute, but I think your men will love it. Give me a second. Doesn't work. I'm going to do it. Just put it in two pieces. Okay, had a little technical difficulties there, but here we go. We have the old cedar. Pull it out so I can, because it's kind of dark down here. Have the old cedar mop bucket, and it has on the front of it. A little step to dry it out and it's a little toy well the cool thing is that you don't put a bunch of water on the floor and it's got this, this cool pedal that spins that thing around you can see that in the um, in the review I did that that's up there in the um, in the box there you go and and and, and it's in, and you don't need much water and it doesn't take it's got a microfiber head and the cool thing about the microfiber head is when it gets dirty, you can throw it in the washing machine. Yes. It's a very easy mop. Easy to move around. It doesn't have wheels on it, but I don't think I want wheels well, on it. Well, you don't it. want wheels on it because it's got this spinner thing. It would, it would, mm -hmm. fly, it would fly across the room. Yeah. You spend more time chasing it than anything. <clears throat> so... And 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 he loves it, ladies. I think it's a, I, I think it's a cool thing. It's probably the best mop. I was, I was cleaning the kitchen and I got my mop water ready, and he offered to do it for me. What's more sexy than a man that likes to clean? Anyway, <laughs> it's just easy, it's just real easy. It's, it's easy to do. Um, <laughs> so get your husband a little toy like this, so he want to help around the house more. Not that he doesn't help. He does. It. He even went in and did the dishes and for me and all and, that. And you don't get your hands all gross, you know, because you don't. You're not squeezing it, or you're not dealing with the dirty mop water. Really, you're not. Which is all. All the reasons that everybody hates the mop. Yeah, you don't have to put your hands in it. Well, that's kind of cool. So this is my little helper for all the right, day. All right, so there you go. <laughs> Go ahead and go ahead and subscribe. Like, and comment, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And watch the video of his demonstration with this mop. Yeah, I, we're gonna link it. I'll put it. In, I'll put it in the description box, and I'll put it in the card above, so you can click on it. That I've already talked about it, so it's really cool. Hope you're having a great Saturday. And and guess what? We went to Publix and did our grocery shopping today. It was kind of an outing. 
So we're not going to you're not going to Walmart tomorrow? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you never went anyway. I was the one that would go. <laughs> I beg to differ. You went a couple of times. I okay. beg that there are there are video there's video evidence that the times that I went by myself. Yes, there is. There you go. Okay. I I I was wrong. Okay. We're going to get back to our house chores for Saturday. Happy Valentine's Day. We'll see y'all on Tuesday. Bye. Just had a lunch date with my honey bunny. It's Sunday after church. And we just had lunch at Panera, and um, I guess I should have took a picture of my meal. I didn't. It was a salad. You've seen a salad before. <laughs> Y'all know what it looks like? Yes. <laughs> but we're on our way home. Um, gonna have, uh, share with you all tonight my meal prep for the week. And uh, I'm gonna try something that the cookies were good that I made and I'm gonna try to put a little twist on it not adding any more calories or sugar but just something a little different and I'll share that with you all talk to you later say bye babe goodbye <laughs> See <you all> later. <laughs> good evening it's me again I am making some it's kind of like a Spanish, Mexican type thing. It's a Mexican thing. But I have some yellow rice I'm cooking in here. And then I'm making some uh, black beans, veggies, and ground turkey. I have some salmon in the oven that I'm cooking. And then I'm going to make some broccoli as well. We love the cookies so much throughout the week that we, and I still have some, so I, I portion controlled and controlled myself, but uh, we're going to uh, make some more of those for dessert for the week, and yeah, that's where we are. Started kind of, kind of early. I started a little before five today, so I should be done way before eight getting all the meals prepared and everything but I will come back and share with you um yeah see my backsplash there that I put up did a pretty good job there okay I'll be back hello good evening everyone let's check out what I have for meal prep this evening oh it's been a busy afternoon but it's all worth it. Um, let me switch around. Here we go. So as you can see here, I have my meals all done. And my veggies, not well, my salad and some fruits and stuff. I have here some broccoli. And as I was showing you when I was preparing it, I made some, um, it's, it's a ground turkey stir fry. And I put some vegetables in there with corn and um, black beans. And it's with yellow rice. Now, sometimes they like to take this out of here and they put it in a wrap and do like a burrito or something. But I have it in the trays if they want to eat it just like a meal. So we have that, a few of those meals, and then I made some salmon also. So that's one meal with salmon, yellow rice, and broccoli. Had a little left over here. This is mainly for me without the rice because I'm trying to stay off the carbs, of course. And here I have um, salmon. I made, of course, some salmon, and then I have some... Uh, zucchini noodles that's less carb than regular noodles I made some some zucchini noodles and I put some um, garlic and uh, garlic and, and olive oil 
Here we have some quinoa with the, and this, I didn't make this. This was a frozen, <laughs> frozen vegetables, but it's quinoa, spinach, and red peppers. And I made a few of those meals for myself. Have my um, strawberries and blueberries that I chopped up again, and a, and a bowl of salad that I make. Let's go over here. And in the oven, this time I'm going. I'm making some peanut butter bars. So we'll see how those come out. I haven't um haven't taken them out of the oven yet and cut them up or anything. But that's what my meal prep is looking like today. Hope everybody had a blessed Sunday. It's um been tiring again. It's it's a lot of work preparing these meals, but it's so worth it, people. I'm telling you, try it. It's so worth having this ready for your family when they come home and you don't have to worry with um <clears throat> finding out what you're going to have because my work schedule now has changed to I'm um, on Mondays I work 11 till 8 so when I get home at 8 o'clock in the evening I don't want to <laughs> to prepare the meals so um and then regular during the week I work from 9 till 6 and 6 is not that late but um doing meals and stuff is not what I want to do I also have in the freezer I have you know, things that we can <clears throat> heat up if we want as well. And then I have turkey and they can make turkey sandwiches. I didn't make any tuna or egg salad this time around. But um, it's still kind of early in the day evening. So I may make some tuna to put in there for them to have for sandwiches as well. But we have roasted turkey in there they can use. So take care of your family. Your health, the health of your family is more valuable than anything, I think, than your relationship. Your relationship with Christ and the health of your family so that they stay here on this earth with you for a long time. It's very important. So I can't control everything they put in their mouth, but I can control what I put in their mouth. So thank you. See you all tomorrow. Good afternoon, good evening. It's probably about almost five o'clock. Um, we didn't do a Deb and Will show this morning because I had a business meeting downtown and I had to be there at eight today. Although it's a holiday, we are off. I had to go to work. <laughs> So I am not complaining. It was a pleasurable day spending it with my work family. Um, I'm home now. Um, as you can see, I've gotten my hair put down and <laughs> I'm about ready to, to get comfortable. But I'm going to do some exercises and, um, and kind of chill for the rest of the evening. Kind of pull, pull out some uh, school work and stuff and do that and just chill but um it was an interesting day in some of the we had breakout sessions and stuff and it was funny because me and the hubby were talking on the way to the meeting about generation generational gaps and i took one of the workshops that was dealing you know talking about millennials and and the the five different uh, generational gaps and it's baby boomers um, generation what is it generation X and Millennials generation Z and um, tra traditionalists are the older ones that we have one traditionalist in the room <laughs> that works with for my company but it was just all so interesting because you know we always talk about how um, the Millennials feel like they have uh, the right to certain things and different things and it was so eye-opening to understand how they think 
and for them to get a little understanding of how, where we're coming from. Um, they think because they get an education that they should come out and get good jobs. Well, we have the education and the experience. So they're thinking that education should be enough. Well, it's a little risky there. You know, education is very important. Don't get me wrong. It is very important. But sometimes if you don't have the the years of experience of dealing with people and how to talk to people and, and what issues to deal with and stuff, it can be a problem when you are dealing with people. You may, can man, you may be able to manage the paperwork and all the knowledge part, but the people part is the most important of a higher level position. So we'll talk some more about this tomorrow. I'm a little tired right now, so I don't want to get into the details. It's, uh, but it, that's a very um, touchy subject with me because I have been supervisor, I have been manager, I have been in leadership roles for years, and people think that those jobs are easy and all you need is a, a degree to do them. You don't, you need more than that. Sometimes you need a little bit of experience under your belt to deal with people. So, what are your thoughts? Comment below. Thank you for watching. Good afternoon. It's a lunch day with Debbie. Having me some lunch here. Let me show you my little fruit. I have some strawberries and blueberries that I showed you. And also um, journaling. My prayer journal. And um, I don't think I've shared with you all how I... Because I, I'm positive that I'm an intercessor. Which... For those that don't know, an intercessor is a person that God has called to pray for other people and, and to, to uh, help them through their walks and struggles and things that they're going through. I find that when you pray for others, when you have difficulties and trials, it is very helpful for you. Yeah, focus on somebody else when you have problems and, and see what happens. But um, I'm an intercessor, and um, I have a prayer box that I have people, when God tells me to put people in that prayer box, I put their names in there, and each day I pull a name out. And that's not to say that I don't pray for other people, you know, as well, but that one person or people, I focus primarily on them when I pray throughout the day and then in my journal but um that prayer box is really you know usually when i will let someone know you know hey I, you you came up to me this week and i've been praying for you and they let they will say wow i was struggling on that day god knows so i i'm very thankful that our church decided to start doing prayer boxes and um, I myself was struggling this, this past month. I told you all that God put on to me that I should be going to school for, uh, to, for life coaching and a certain ministry also. And um, I have this opportunity to take this course and I've just been afraid. I don't know what the deal is. I wanted to do this for about a year now. And um, when the opportunity is here, Debbie is like just stalling. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. But I finally got the nerve up to go ahead and sign up for courses and uh, start the schooling. But there's something about with school, I just, and I know it's the enemy just trying to stop me and from doing what I need to do on this earth. But um, I, you saw my quote. If you're on my Instagram and Facebook, I posted something that God sent me today. 
and in this YouTube Bible study, it showed uh, 2 Timothy 1.7, and that was something that I used to quote when I first started my career, because I had a fear. So 2 Timothy 1.7, God has not given us a spirit of timidity or fear, but the power, love, and a sound mind. And I really am going to quote that this week as I go through my moments of fear. God doesn't want us to fear anything. I mean, there's a natural formality of fear that is instilled in us, but that anxiety and all that stuff that women of my age start to have, and some younger women have that anxiety, um, that's not from God. That's just something evil that's trying to keep you from what God has placed you here for. So, I'll be praying for you guys. If you have a prayer request or something that you need, or you want to be added to my box, let me know. I'm open for that. But, um, keep me in prayer because I'm getting ready to go. I have a blood work done and my doctor wants to meet with me on it so I'm believing that everything is good in Jesus name thank you for sitting in with the Debbie lunch break love you bye bye good morning people yes I look like I walked two miles and I did um, we had a commit to be fit this morning with my Suncoast family, my work family, and we walked um, the parameters of two of our buildings, and in doing those walks, we had to do like jumping jacks and squats and <laughs> and all kinds of uh, exercises, which I'm not used to. I do my walking regularly, but I'm not used to, um, let me turn the car on here, it's hot in here. I'm not used to uh, exercising in between all of that. So it was quite interesting. Uh, me and my coworker did it together. Uh, nobody else on my team did it, but, but we were committed to do it. We've been walking ourselves on doing our lunch breaks. So um, we wa walked basically the same routes that we do then with a little bit of extras and the exercising. So I'm so proud of myself. I, I was about to give up, but I didn't. So it feels good to, to commit to something and do it. So we're committed to being fit. We're going to do this probably once a month. I think I want to meet and walk this once a month. So now it's off to doing chores and errands and all that good Saturday stuff. So thanks for watching, people. Love you. Peace out.